Hey, Gateway PGA, thanks for coming back this week. Another episode of our Great Way videos. Uh, appreciate you tuning in once again. A lot to cover this week, so let's just jump right in. First of all, I want to do a nice recap uh, and thank you to the staff over at Quincy Country Club, uh, Gideon Smith, John Roberson, Emily Van Rie, uh, just an a awesome uh, golf course in great condition. Uh, despite a little bit of rain uh, leading up to it, uh, golf course played tough. Uh, uh, always a treat to, to head up there and, um, and, and tee it up and compete. So uh, it was our players' championship, so it was a little smaller field, but the conclusion of our 2021 Player of the Year race. And want to uh, first of all congratulate Brian McMurray on taking home the trophy that day. Uh, very nice round of three under par, uh, tied with J.D. Opping uh, after 18 holes of play. And they settled it on the first playoff hole uh, with Brian nearly holding it from the fairway uh, for a, a nice little kick and birdie to uh, to take the title. So, so some great playing by those two individuals. Uh, I think they were distanced by uh, distance three shots from the rest of the field. So, so <coughs> well played and um, congratulations to Brian on a on a great season. So in a in a great way to end it there. So uh, it did conclude our Player of the Year races in all of our different divisions. Uh, most of them were uh, kind of uh, already settled up uh, leading up to the last event, but uh, we had a couple races that were still to be determined and uh, want to congratulate our list of 21 Player of the Year winners, uh, starting with our, our regular division. He got it done uh, with his strong play on Monday. Uh, J.D. Opping from Bell Reef Country Club. Uh, he eked out a win uh, in the Player of the Year race over Mike Surrey by, I believe it was 20 points. So congratulations, J.D., great playing all year long. Uh, the Ageless Wonder, uh, fellow board member Jeff Whitfield, uh, took home both our senior and super senior titles this year. So just keeps uh, playing some great golf, and uh, you know each year just a little bit better. So uh, I don't see him slowing down anytime soon. And then Matt Swanson from Forest Hills is our assistant player of the year. So nice playing, Matt. Uh, also took home the assistant's uh, championship title earlier in the season. So. He'll be uh, heading down to Port St. Lucie for the uh, national championship down there here in the next uh, few weeks. So, And uh, Nora Durkin from Bell Reef Country Club, she uh, is our Ladies Player of the Year and uh, came down to her and Emily uh, um, over this past week. So um, so congratulations, Nora, and um, we look forward to uh, having you out competing with us uh, for many more years to come. So congrats to all of our winners. We'll obviously recognize them along with all of our 2021 winners uh, uh, again, we'll do that at our spring meeting uh, in March, and um, so we look forward to uh, celebrating them uh, on that fun evening. Um, this coming week, we've got a big one. Um, we're, we're getting ready for the Aussie and Friends uh, Gala and Pro-Am uh, this Sunday night and Monday. So Sunday night we'll be at the Ritz uh, in Clayton uh, for the Gala. Uh, fun night, always uh, lots of money raised, some great auction um, um, availability. And uh, Johnny Bench is going to be the special guest this year, so it'll be great to hear Ozzy and Johnny share some stories on stage. So look forward to that evening. Um, and then the next day we'll be teeing it up at Bell Reef Country Club for the annual Pro-Am, uh, which uh, sold out in three days this year. So obviously a little smaller field with uh, just the 18 holes. But uh, looking forward to that uh, uh, You know, afternoon as always. So played there yesterday in the... Uh, annual Stagmaster event. Golf course is in uh, pristine condition, so it should be a great time for all of our Pro-Am competitors out there on Monday. So uh, still chances to get uh, gala tickets. So if you haven't done so, there is a little bit of a discount for PGA professionals to attend the gala. Uh, so if you're interested in that, contact Nolan at the section office uh, and um, you know get your tickets. And uh, it's, always a, it's always a great evening and uh, some great awareness and some great fundraising for all the things that uh, PGA Reach Gateway is doing. So um, looking forward to that. Want to talk about uh, PGA.coach and ADM certification. Um, you know, this has been around for the last couple of years and uh, definitely want to see more of our section professionals get registered with PGA.coach, um, create a profile with them, um, and it helps get you teaching leads and inquiries through PGA.com and also get you ADM certified, which is the American Development Model. Um, so yeah, some great opportunities to uh, develop uh, more instruction uh, clients and, and ideas for uh, adding to your programming that you're doing at your facility. So uh, the app is great. It's really easy to navigate. The uh, certification doesn't take very long. So 
Uh, obviously, the off season is uh, is approaching, so uh, definitely put that on your list of things to get done. Um, you've probably seen some communication from Jude uh, on some individuals that we've been highlighting uh, that are already currently uh, registered with PGA.coach and getting some leads. So, um, so some great exposure for our brand as PGA professionals. And so, uh, yeah, log into PGA.coach, download the app, and um, you can go through all that. Uh, um, ADM certification, and then and then you're rolling uh, rolling with that system. So, so if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to any of us at the office or um, on the board. We can um, help walk you through it. So, last thing I want to cover, not really anything involved with us, is the gateway, but uh, the golf industry as a whole. Um, I've had a couple. My superintendent here, Dave Piney at Old Hickory, and a couple others have mentioned it. Uh, they have a, a very large event coming up uh, for the Mississippi Valley golf course superintendents. I believe it's the Green Cup, um, and it's a 75th anniversary celebration event um, that they're playing out at St. Albans. They've got both golf courses filled uh, with foursomes on October 25th, so coming up here in a couple weeks. Um, and they're looking for anything that they can add to the event uh, from a donation standpoint. Um, so if you have any uh, excess inventory or uh, you know complimentary uh, rounds to your golf course, uh, gift cards, Anything that you can help supply to them would be uh, an added benefit to their outing. Um, they're just looking to put on a great show uh, as a 75th anniversary event. So, so uh, talk to your superintendent if you're able and willing to help. Um, I'm sure they're probably playing in the event, so hopefully they're supporting it. And um, you know you can get the items to your superintendent, or they can obviously get you in touch with uh, somebody that can come uh, collect anything that you may have. So. So let's do our part to help out if you can, and um, we're all big one happy golf community here. So, um, and we all know our supers work incredibly hard for us all year long, as we do as well. So, um, so hopefully they'll have a great event there in a couple of weeks at St. Albans, and I'm sure Joe and Kurt and uh, Zach and the crew out there will uh, will have a great event for them uh, on uh, on both those great golf courses. So. Uh, that's that's a wrap for this week. Thanks for tuning in. Hope to see a lot of you at the gala and at the pro am. And um, always great to uh, give our support to to Ozzy for all he does for us. So so we'll come back at you next week. And uh, also lake team event coming up. So uh, if you got your partner, make sure you get registered there. So we'll start highlighting that here in the next couple of weeks. So so everyone have a great rest of the week. We'll talk to you then.